what's up my sacred friends thank you so much for tuning in for another video if you're new here welcome my name is Maggie and I do all types of spiritual care videos so if that's something you may be interested in please consider subscribing before you leave so today I want to talk about all about how to be a more high value woman so as I'm getting older I'm starting to appreciate the fact that I'm getting older appreciate the fact that I am a grown woman now and that um, I demand respect uh, wherever I go and that I can really be the woman that um, I've always wanted to be if that makes sense and which was a high value woman a woman in power a woman in position um, a woman who's anointed a woman who's um, who exudes woman right so that's what today's video is going to be all about how to be more of a high value woman what it is a high value woman exudes what do they do all that good stuff so let's go ahead and jump into number one so for starters number one a high value woman minds their business and enjoys their own company so minding your business I know we live in a social media world everybody is gossip 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 if you're the person in your family if you're level-headed you're probably the person in your family who everybody calls right so what I'm learning now is to just mind my business because the moment I get involved, um, I'm usually thrown in or mixed in deeper than what I needed to be. Sometimes you offer some advice and your words can get misconstrued or now you're the problem. Now you're thrown into the problem. And it's just a lot of predetermined issues that can happen when you don't mind your business. So I'm not saying don't offer advice. I'm not saying don't offer prayers and things like that. I'm saying that's all you sh you know <laughs> need to offer mind your business stay out the way and yeah don't be succumb to everybody else's problems or drama and then enjoy your own company don't be scared or afraid or think it's weird to take yourself out on a date or to go to a see a movie by yourself or go to a museum or something by yourself enjoy your own time now that I'm by myself I am the first to say I enjoy my space I love my time to myself especially now that the kids get to kind of go back and forth now I get to enjoy my time and I utilize that alone time a lot so I love being by myself number two a high value woman stays well groomed and well mannered so well groomed so I'm meaning eyebrows I'm meaning fingernails I'm meaning toenails I mean keeping your ends trimmed I mean you know uh, um, trying to look like something for the day right so a high value woman knows the importance and makes it a priority to take care of themselves and to stay well groomed again mani petties eyebrows brush your teeth you know what I'm saying hair laid in place a high value woman knows the importance importance of it and how it makes them look when they're in the outside world right and then well mannered right um I understand we all have a little ratchet tree uh hood trap queen inside of us you know but that's for the ones we love that's for when you're home that's for you know your spouse and the people you're comfortable right 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 but like when you're out in the world your first impression is to everybody you don't know right so you just want to not only exude what um good manners for first impressions but you don't want to be that person be that that Karen or be that Keisha because there's Karens and there's Keishas you know that's out in the world causing problems being a headache and being a problem you know what I'm saying so uh, disrespecting being rude to workers and like I just cannot stand that type of person but they stay we stay well groomed and well mannered wherever we are number three high value women uplift other women so giving a compliment supporting each other um we're in social media world so reposting business ideas like we're all we're supposed to be uplifting each other and I think that just shows a lot about you when you um bring yourself down a notch to to lift someone else up you know I think that's very important and I think any real woman and I think that is a trait excuse me of any real woman right uplift each other right number four a high value woman embraces her own beauty right so we don't compare we don't um, envy or anything we embrace what the looks and the qualities that God has given us we embrace them we enhance them and yeah again we don't compare sometimes those thoughts can creep up but again we try to stay clear away and I'm saying we because all of us I know all of us watching are already high value women this is just a refresher for us right but we need to embrace our own beauty more and stop trying to run to the first um the first surgeon or the first doctor in Miami once there's a new trend or a new look or a new stigma that hits the internet you know what I'm saying so embrace your own beauty 
Number five, a high value woman has boundaries and stick to them. So my latest videos has been all about boundaries because they're so important. Boundaries is just treating somebody, teaching somebody how to treat you and showing them exactly what it is that you're not accepting or you're willing to accept, you know? So create those boundaries and stick to them because boundaries without reinforcement are just uh, words, really. <laughs> all right, number six, high value women, women have high self-esteem they're confident you know they're not on this high horse but they value themselves enough to know that uh, i take good enough care of myself i love myself mm -hmm. enough um, I have enough love to give. I exude enough love and, you know, caring. And all of that plays a part in your self-esteem, right? So make sure we're working on that. Make sure we are complimenting ourselves. Make sure we are uplifting ourselves, boosting our own self-esteem so that we're not succumb to everybody else's opinion and then basing our own self-esteem on everyone else's preference, if that makes sense. So get some esteem about yourself. Find out things that you love about yourself and embrace them. Number seven, high value woman embraces themselves fully so um, maybe you're loud and obnoxious but you know you consider yourself a high value woman you know you embrace yourself fully like I guess what I mean to it's like your personality like the things that you're into don't be weird okay so like an example you would first take a quick look at me I guess and would think that I'm not a 90s alternative rock enthusiast but I am I listen to rock music rock music is my number one genre of course after gospel or anything but i probably know every rock band from the 90s i could probably know every song that's in that category like early 2000s rock i can know the name the band the lead singer the album it came off of like but you probably wouldn't think that so like when i'm out i love giving that illusion i love giving that impression because um people or men or whatever would think oh you know she listens to r&b or a little rap here and there but then when they hear my car or they see my playlist they're like but nonetheless i embrace it fully i don't hide it anymore i listen to my rock music when i'm driving i used to be embarrassed to blast my rock music or to listen to it around people but now i don't care especially if you're in my car we're gonna listen to my music um <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then i love talking about music too so that's just what I mean by embrace yourself fully. Don't let anyone put you into this box or say, oh, because you're black, you can only listen to this or because you're white, you can't do this. Like embrace yourself fully and don't let anybody stop you from being yourself. All sense. right, number eight high value women are confident in everything that they do and i mean everything like i said when they're stepping out into the world when they're going on a job interview when they're shopping for groceries we're confident we know what we want we know what we're going there to get we are just confident and even if you gotta fake it till you make it because it took me a while i wasn't always as confident i wasn't i've always tried to humble myself if that makes sense but then i come to a realization that i can still be humble but i can still be confident and be a high value woman as well because i guess i when you think of high value women we think of stuck up and privileged and selfish and whatever but that's totally the opposite high value women just value values themselves and are confident in everything that they do and i'm even going to throw in god fearing because i believe a high value woman is from a high value god right we come from a higher vessel a higher place which is heaven which is god which is the word and i'm going to throw that in there too so we do everything divine confidence if that makes sense Number okay. nine high value women are self-aware and expressive so we're self-aware we know our problems or we try to um again be aware again we try to be vigilant of our shortcomings and we do something about it yes we acknowledge them that's the word i'm looking for we acknowledge what's wrong with us we are self-aware when we feel uncomfortable we're not to leave a situation we're self-aware with our intuition and we know how to discern certain situations you know it's all about just being self-aware about yourself self-aware about your surroundings really and to be expressive you know be expressive speak up when it's time you know don't be passive don't be timid don't be you know be expressive speak up for yourself speak up for the ones who have no voice you know cut out those toxic conversations get up and walk away from them you know what i'm saying so yeah that's all i mean by that one and last but not least number 10 a high value woman appropriately dresses for any occasion so i just gotta throw that in there because we're still in the fashion nova world you know where every piece of skin has to be shown and there's no mystery to anything anymore and then the occasions don't really matter anywhere all you know is your 
you're gonna be naked you're gonna be exposed and like no we need to start setting standards be appropriately dressed for um again an interview um a wedding a going to see your parents going to church you know what i'm saying um high value women knows how to dress and they know how to dress for any occasion right so that means we need to get some fashion sense and i'm not no fashion guru but i can literally make an outfit look expensive you know and it's really not hard so that's all i mean by that one so i am so on loving this like new journey self-love self-awareness high value divine feminine energy kind of journey you know because i feel i've realized that women really has all the power you know we hold life we hold the power we hold the um the abilities right we can really do anything a man can do but in heels you know and i have to and trying to tap back into that and these videos are helping me my own tips are helping me kind of remember who i am and then kind of stick to what the type of woman that i want to be you know so that's all these videos are for right tap back into our feminine divine high value status that god has created us to be okay we are done being basic all right so that's all i have for this video guys i really hope this was helpful i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one